preparation for Joseph Parker. They're coming off the back of a unification loss. First guy to take Anthony Joshua, 12 rounds. He jumps into a fight with, I believe, one of the most dangerous heavyweights in world boxing. I think Joseph Parker has the bit between his teeth. I think he feels like he has a lot to prove. I think he wants to be in all the major fights in the heavyweight division. And I think outside of Joshua Wilder, this is the biggest fight in the heavyweight division. So we're going to hear from everyone on the table. And again, I just want to take my hat off to these two guys. The response on social media has been incredible. Everyone is so excited about this fight. It is a pure 50-50 fight with both guys that have absolutely everything to lose in terms of challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship. And before we pass over to, to Dave to say a few words, we'll pass over to Adam Smith from Sky Sports. Eddie, thanks, and you've hit the nail on the head. A wonderful match, a 50-50 fight. You know, we saw it in your call last night on JD Next Gen, a, a terrific assortment of fights, and that's what we need, you know, great matches where you just don't know who's going to win. I love this. I love twists and turns in boxing. You think it's going one way, then the other. Dillian wanted the fight. Joseph wanted the fight. It was made so quickly. It's a pleasure having David Higgins back, uh, Kevin Barry, an old friend, and, and uh, Joseph Parker. They are consummate professionals. They were wonderful in the build-up to the Anthony Joshua fight. Obviously disappointed with their performance. They want to right a wrong back here. But look at Dillian White. Look what he's done. He's, uh, as Eddie said, he's taken risks. He's taken gambles. He's he, an amazing night against Lucas Brown. And huge figures on Sky. I think he's a real star coming through his way as well. And I think it's just a fantastic fight. It's a, it's a cracking heavyweight world at the moment. And this is just a terrific matchup. Everyone I've spoken to already in the last hour has said, who's going to win? And that's what you want. You want a fight where we don't know. Joseph Parker wants it bad. Dillian White wants it bad. I cannot wait for July the 28th. And Eddie's promising me that he'll tell me in the next 24, 48 hours what is on the card. It's going to be a massive support as well to these two. So a summer sizzler coming your way at the O2 in what, just seven weeks or something? Yeah, seven weeks, yes, isn't it? Thank you, Adam. Yes, you are right. It's going to be a huge card, huge night of boxing. And I have to thank David Higgins as well for that because when he saw the budget for the undercard, yeah. He nearly collapsed uh, in, his, in his bar in New Zealand. And, uh, you're going to see a full announcement on that card on Monday. Some huge names, some world championship fights as well on this card. David, welcome back. Look, and again, uh, thank, thank you, you for you. having us back. Um, look, I have to say there's a lot of treachery around boxing and it can be a very risky business like deep sea diving for the fighters and the promoters. So, you know, I think it's really... Really good to see what Eddie Hearn is doing for boxing and his long-term plan and expanding to the United States, etc. And the reason I say that is testament to his professionalism and honesty in, in a sport where it's rare is that we can make a deal, a very complex eight-figure intercontinental deal in the space of 20, 48 hours, and, and you know, the deal is done. But that's quite unusual in a sport like this with all the risks involved. So, that's a testament, I think, to what he's doing, and I, I like his vision. And so we're grateful to be back here. Um, this is the epicenter of heavyweight boxing in the world. Um, obviously, we came close against Anthony Joshua. Didn't quite get the win. We'd love a rematch one day, perhaps with a different referee. Um, but, as uh, Eddie said, I think the next biggest fight is uh, Dillian White. And so um, the Dillian White fight has the magic three ingredients that I think uh, make a fight pay-per-view worthy. Two stars, both guys are now sort of household names in the UK. It's got parochialism, New Zealand versus England, uh, and also, most importantly, it's a 50-50 fight. Two different styles, um, and it could go either way. And I think the fans, they get excited about those 50-50 fights. So this is a special fight, it's probably one of the biggest heavyweight fights of the year, and uh, we're excited to be part of it, and uh, I personally believe that uh, Joseph Parker would be too much for Dillian White. I'm sure Eddie has a different view to that. I, I'm, I hope so. I hope so. But I do think it's a great fight. And one guy that's going to be very important, Kevin Barry, is obviously waiting for Joseph in, in Las Vegas at the moment. But here from Mark Tibbs, firstly, Mark, I uh, spoke to you last night at your call and you were really excited about this fight. That I think really the hard work that Dillian White has put in has paid off and now he gets his big jump. Def uh, yeah, definitely, Eddie. Uh, thanks again for. Uh, Exciting me as a trainer, you know, I need a challenge as well. And this is this is uh, Joseph Parker's. Uh, he's um, he's a good. He's been a world champion, so it's another world champion for Dillian. And um, 
we know what we've got to do to steady him up, shake him up, and do something which ain't been done to him. So, yeah, I'm really excited, very excited. I think the styles will gel really well in this party. You know, Joseph has got to come to win this fight, obviously, and to a great performance from Dillian against Lucas Brown. You see Gillian being able, like you said, to be the first man to potentially stop Joseph Parker. Well, listen, I don't want to promise any uh, any KOs or stoppages, but what I will promise you, whatever uh, Parker brings, whether he, whether he runs or whether he brings it, he's going to get steadied up. The old midriff is going to get touched and he's going to get steadied up. But that's all with all respect. Proper gentleman, but this is the fight game. And we're going to do the business, I promise you. Thanks, Mark. Joseph, I have to uh, give you a huge amount of respect. I know you just love to fight. You love to be in these big fights. We met yesterday. I really feel like you've got a bit between your teeth. You want to prove a point back here. You don't have your world championship belt anymore, but you want it back. And I get the feeling you're very excited about the Dillian White fight. Yeah, firstly, um, thank you all for making time to be here today for the announcement. Um, it's good, good to be back here in the UK. I feel like I'm spending a lot more time here than I do at home. So that's a good thing. Um, the last time I was here was a great experience fighting um, at Cardiff in front of you know, all those people and the build up to the fight. Even though I didn't get the result that we wanted, but I feel like it's a great time now to come back. And you know, both fighters have taken up this challenge. A lot of fighters avoid each other, but I feel like no credit to, to Dylan and myself for like, putting our hands up to fight each other. We know that we, we're both young, hungry, we want to win. And also, I'd like to give credit to my promoter, David Liggins, and also the Eddie Hearn for making this deal um, happen very fast. And I'm looking forward to going back to training and bringing off the pies I ate in New Zealand. And then coming back in great shape, put on a great performance, and get that one. Both of you guys just hugely rated, highly ranked in all the government bodies. Like we said today, the fight for the WBO for a final eliminator for this one. But this is just really the people's eliminator. More than anything, the fans know that this is the big one. This is the, the fight outside of the world championships. That, that you know, the winner has absolutely no root other than a world championship. Yeah, the winner, I think, is a pole position for we'll rematch with Anthony Joshua at some point in the future. <coughs> yeah. And Joseph, just finally, a great style for you and Gillian White. I know, you know, in some of your recent fights, you've, you've had to box a little bit more than sometimes you like, but. Expect an explosive night on July. I feel like it's going to be explosive. I've seen him fight. I respect him as a fighter. He looked tremendous in his last fight. So uh, he, he sent me a message on Instagram saying he wants to go to war. So let's, let's make it happen. Dillian White, you get your, your big night if you like. Um, almost feels like a world title fight, to be honest with you. And it's been a, a frustrating period trying to secure these big fights probably over the last 12 months. I feel as though you've called me a hundred times and We've probably had a thousand conference calls, but it's paid off, and, and now you really get your chance to shine on a massive stage. Yeah, you know, it's been frustrating, but I also understand that these guys are in a position where they don't want to take risks because, you know, obviously Joshua is there and Yenta Wilder is there, so guys are to sit down and wait 10, 12 months to two years before they get their chance. But I'm not about that. I'm here to fight, and I want to fight, and I want to give the fans big fights, and that's a member. And, um, this is one of them, and it's a great fight. I believe um, Joseph Parker will be hungry, will be motivated. I just hope that you know, he leaves his running shoes at home and July 20th and come to fight. You know, hopefully, we will box and boots into the ACES as as running training. So. <laughs> Obviously, uh, this fight particularly is, is hugely important. Like you said, many in your position would have just waited it out to try and get the fight. Do you get the? Do you feel the pressure in this fight? And that if you lose, you know, those heavyweight world championship dreams are over. No, listen, my whole career has been like that anyway, in every fight, so it's been against it, against it, against it, so I'm used to it now, you know, I mean, um, some fighters have the easy way set up for them, other fighters is a bit more difficult, so I'm used to that, I don't pressure myself for the start there, do what I'm going to do, get the win, whichever way, whether it's by KO or I'm going to box away to the decision, I don't really care, it's, it's just about getting the wins, you know, I mean, you can only progress in a win, so for me, I don't care about what people say, what people think, I'll start there. Do what I need to do. I'm very good at adapting and adjusting myself to the situation, whether they're running, whether they're fighting, tough fight, short fight, in the moment. So, and finally, we've tried to make all the big fights, you know, the, the Wilder fight, of course. Respect to Joseph Parker for taking this fight. You know, when we spoke on the phone, 
both of you accepted this fight very quickly. It shows the confidence and, and the willingness to put everything on the line. Yeah, massive respect to him. You know, I mean, he's young. He could have come back. You know, he put a decent performance last time. He had moments in the fight with Joshua. He could have come back at a couple of easy fights and eke his, eke his way back in. But you know, he came back in. It was a big challenge. You know, and um, he's stepping with me, but I think it's a big mistake in doing that. But you know, I'm sure he believe different. I'm sure they've seen something in me that they think they can can beat. But like I always say, everyone always think they can do this and do that. And when they get there, they realize that. Oh, this dude is way better than what we think he is, and he's a hell of a lot stronger than what, than what we think. So, we'll see. And, uh, I'd like to appeal to the British Boxing Board of Control to please not select the referee from the Italian Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> if someone more neutral would be nice next this time around. Well, we, he was neutral. We, we actually asked the neutral judges together. Unfortunately, we got someone who is. He actually, certainly didn't look it. No, no. We got some of the best referees in the world in the UK, anyway, so that won't be an issue. I think these guys uh, might not get too close to the hugging stakes. I think this one's going to be in that all out war. Um, we're going to have a head to head up here, then the guys will be available for one on one. Just a few questions from Sky Sports News now coming in here. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, it's not as fun as the WBC situation. You're still the champion. Is this the final, final, final fight for the I don't know, I don't care, man. It's only a matter of time, you know, I'd rather just win, just keep winning, you know, I don't really care. You know, it's like, boxing's a funny business, it's a very, it's a funny business. You know, we might win this one and they might call us to the world title, we might win and after another one after, another two, but for me, I'm very, I find a high level of my experience is still growing, it's still very inexperienced, you know, so, I don't mind. I just want to fight and just keep doing it, keep improving. Every fight I'm getting better. The more fights I have, the more active I am, the better I am. I've already started this camp way, way better than I did last camp, and I'm excited. I'm progressing day in, day out, you know. So it's just, it's just good to have fights there and have the platform. I was in Sky Sport, a match with Yem, who is now made a few major moves, which is going to make it even more easier for me to fight more regularly now. So it's great. You get you call everyone out. Happy to fight anyone. We've even seen cartoons of you. So is there respect to Park for taking this fight? Yeah, massive respect to him for taking this fight. There's many guys who, who, you know, there's lots of guys who he doesn't want it. You know, like in for instance, you know, who if they won the bid and they're messing about, you know. So, we'll see. And Joe, I mean, I'll speak to you both in a bit once a month, but the love of the UK fans you had from the Anthony Joshua fight, was that a good reason to come back here as well? It's a great reason to come back. We felt like uh, we were welcome. I would love the support, and like the, you know, I just want to fight. I want to fight anyone and everyone. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, everyone, for turning up. We're head to head here. They're both guys available for one on one. Thank you.